uh, this two seven triple zero or two seven five ten zero one has sixteen factors. Find the sum of prime factors, right? So actually, once you uh, people will not get the starting point, right? But once you're trying to uh, once you're trying to think of over it, right? So the the biggest hint here is this twenty seven, okay? Because if you see some twenty seven anywhere, right? You can relate it with three cube, okay? It has to go something with three cube actually. That's the first you should point you should think actually. Fine. Second is one two three four five five zeros. That means I can write this as three hundred cube, okay? If I write three hundred cube, that becomes what? Three cube is twenty seven. One two three four five six six zeros. Right, but I want one at the last. That means should be one cube should be added here, right? So one cube should be added here, right? So I think this will add this will add to make it the required result here, right? So basically, the thinking point is with such questions is right that obviously because you, if you want to factor it, right, or to find some of prime factors, right? So you want to factorize it. To factorize it, you want to think it in the form of some kind of cubes or squares, right? And again, see that twenty seven is what it's a cube form, okay? So now let's solve it, right? So I can just write like this, guys. This, this, the whole number I can write like three hundred cube plus one cube. Okay, this is actually a cube plus b cube form, which is equal to some a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Correct? Now my a here is three hundred, right? If you observe here, guys, my a here is three hundred, and my b here is one. Yeah, okay. Now if I go further on. Three hundred plus one into three hundred square minus three hundred into one plus a uh, one square. Correct. I want to further factorize it. So don't solve it right now. If you solve it again, it will come back to the original situation, right? I want to further factorize it. So how we want to other further factorize it? See guys, see guys. So this, see once you see this kind of expressions, no, there are two ways to factorize actually. What are those two ways to factorize? Look at look here. One way to factorize is actually if one way of factorizing it. Let's say we have a square minus a b plus b square. Okay, one way of factorizing it, you can subtract a b and add a b, right? A square minus a b. So again, I subtract a b. Okay, and then one add a b here. This becomes a square minus two a b plus b square plus a b. This becomes a minus b whole square plus a b. That's one way of factorizing, factorizing, right? But if you do like this here, if you do it here, then actually it becomes what? A is three hundred and this B is one. Okay, so this A into B is three hundred, right? You're left with ultimately something A minus B whole square plus AB form and AB here is three hundred, right? So now you you won't be able to move forward. Okay, how to move actually? Won't three hundred minus one whole square plus three hundred. And now you can't further factorize it actually. So it kind of create a kind of lock situation, right? The other way actually, the other way to do it is right. Think in terms of plus AB square, right? So what I'll do here, in fact. I'll just this minus two ab, right? I'll just add three ab and I'll subtract three ab here, right? So if I do this actually, what will happen here? Uh, because this part will become uh, obviously b squared there, right? Because this part will become a square plus two ab plus b square, and I'm left with three ab. Okay, now it is like a plus b whole square, and now I'm left with three into a into b. What is three into a into b in my case, guys? So three into a into b is here three into three hundred in my case. Now three into three hundred nine hundred, right? That's the correct way to do it because one already I got one in the form of three hundred plus one square that is a plus b whole square and now minus nine hundred again a perfect square, right? Again it is thirty square again. Okay, so three hundred plus one square minus thirty square. So again I can form into a square minus b square, right? So that's the way to go about it, right? So it's a fantastic concept. It's a good high level question, right? So just try to understand this funda, understand this funda actually. So once you get this, I can directly put these values here now. Okay. So we have factorized it like this. Okay. This observation because there's no, there's no rule to do it, right? If I directly write it, it won't help you because that thought process you need to develop. Okay. That how and why you are going to factorize it. Okay. If you factorize, if you don't factorize, it is again back to normal result, right? But I want to factorize it to get into prime factors. If I factorize in a minus b whole square. I'll get stuck at some point. That means I need to do it a plus b whole square. Okay, these things. So if you do it right now, look at look here. So in this part, I'll do now. This three hundred plus one into what? Into a three hundred square. I'll just add this twice of three hundred. I'll add. Okay, and twice of three hundred. I'll subtract. 
okay once i subtract twice of 300 there's already this already this 300 was there this one right okay this becomes actually was this becomes 300 plus 1 into this becomes 300 plus 1 whole square okay and this this is minus 900 minus 900 means what 30 square okay fine if you have this point name now okay so this is actually 301 if i further try to break in the form of a square minus b square what i'll get actually 301 is square minus 30 square if i further try to break it what is 301 3 into 43 sorry uh, 7 into 43 that's quite common number right 301 7 into 43 okay now 301 a square minus b square that is a minus b is 271 and a plus b is 331 right so if you observe 271 and 331 are both prime numbers 43 and 7 are all prime numbers that means finally i can write this big number as 7 into 43 into 271 into 331 okay now what is the value here guys so value has become actually 301 plus uh, so what you wanted right i wanted some of prime factors these are the four prime factors for me this is like p1 p2 p3 and p4 what is their sum so 331 plus 271 is uh, 602 plus a uh, 50 is 652 so 652 is the answer that's it and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank one to three one year subscription i think around twenty thousand or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent so, so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you